disciples used to come, masters used to come to learn some from my master, but I wouldn't learn from him because I was so close to him from the very beginning and I wouldn't learn. Children at certain stage do not learn from parents because they, they are very close. A doctor's son is not treated by his father. Other doctors teach him. So was the case. So I went to that Swami. See, in the morning, you know, you brush. So they use a branch of, a small branch of neem twig for brushing their teeth. Here this Swami went exactly to that branch where there was a huge hive of bees, killer bees, big black bees. I said, Swamiji, are you blind? Please gently retreat and come down. He said, what is the problem? And he was so close, two, three inches far away from that. So what's the problem? I said, problem is killer bees will kill you and they will also kill me. He said, no. Kill, killing means not understanding each other, not having understood, not creating understanding. He said, why? The problem is why people are fighting in the world because they don't understand each other. Nobody wants to fight. You don't. You fight orally because you don't understand each other's language. You fight with fist because you don't understand each other. We have understanding. I stay here. They know that I am staying here. And I need to use this brush every day, fresh brush from that tree, neem tree. So I climb, take out. They don't do anything to me. I have told them. You don't disturb me, and I don't disturb you. And they understand this. And animals understand better than human beings. I said, tell me the mantra. You are hiding some mantra from me. He said, son, I give you this mantra. So he said, now you come up. He got down and you get the little, you see, branch of that tree. So I got up to the tree. He said, go to that next one and say, I don't hurt you, you don't hurt me. Because the Swami was there, so I could do that. And it's the most silly thing when I am describing this. And they wouldn't do anything to me. They would fly, but nobody disturbed me. I went so close to them. They said, go very close to them, just... And, and move, there is nothing. And so I told Swami, do you want me to be killed? He said, no, no, no one can kill you. I said, will this mantra help? All, he said, it will help always. And I was young. So I was a show off during, during, during that time. So wherever I went to any village or anything, city, I'd go outside the city and tell people, find out a tree where there is a hive and I will show you some miracle. So there was a goldsmith at Vimani. It was in Punjab during those days. Now it's in Haryana. He was very fat. He said, I have seen a place, come on, show me. I said, but the Swami said, look, this mantra is only for you. This is not for others. I forgot that part that this is not for others. 
So I went to the tree and nothing happens. The bees did not misbehave. He said, I, I said, now you go and say same thing. I don't disturb you, you don't disturb me. In, all bees attacked him and he fell down. Eight days he remained in the hospital. You know, his whole face was bitten, whole body was bitten. It became difficult for the doctors. Why did it happen? No one knows. Such mantras are called apt mantra, given by somebody. Someone gives you his own wealth out of pure love, you see. They are called apt mantra. Their quality are different than other mantra. Apt mantras are different. Sometimes, traditionally, the gurus give a mantra, which is very powerful. With great delights he gives that mantra. That works only for the student, but not for others. Yes, if he gives with the same zeal to others, it works. Aap mantras are like that. Grammatically, there are many mistakes in apt mantra, sometimes one or two or three mistakes. We don't correct them. We use them the way they are said. I have examined them many times. I was a great coward for many, many years. Whenever I heard about a snake and saw a snake, my body used to freeze. So my master told me, just remember this and nothing is going to happen. It worked. When I used to walk in the forest, which was haunted by tigers, bears, pythons, cobras, elephants, it would work. For many years, sorry, for many months, one and a half year, I stayed on the other side of the Ganges without any shelter, sitting on the trees, living in the caves, you see, face to face meeting the animal, but no man animal ever hurt me. I have seen its effect. You see. So mantra and mana, mind, they become one and a time comes when mind starts following mantra. Mantra finally takes you to the silence or to the desire that you have to fulfill. Have you seen Maharshi Mahesh Yogi? His uh, students give mantra, TM. They say, have a desire and remember this mantra. Am I right? They say, have a desire and remember this mantra. If you learn to remember a mantra with the desire, it works. There are varieties of mantra, but I am talking about mantra of meditation. You see, some scientific finding I want to give you. If you remember short mantra, such as Om is very short, 